What's going on, everyone? So Tabitha has really been a focal point this season from getting out of Fromville and being in the real world, bringing back Henry, um, to when she does return, she finds out that she had a tie-in and connection to the village that they ended up discovering, right? And that she um, had nightmares of that village as a little girl. And then in the latest episode, you see Tabitha kind of continuously zoning out, continuously phasing out. And it was kind of like, okay, well, what's happening here, right? Like, is she having a vision? Is she like feeling some energy and vibration? And it's kind of, is she like, you know, having some kind of mental lap, right? Is she like kind of losing time? What What is the deal here, right? And then we had the moment where her and uh, Victor embrace. She goes to comfort Victor. And all of a sudden, the flashbacks or memories or visions, whatever they turn out to be, um, start flooding Tabitha. And she starts to see the night in which Miranda ended up saying goodbye to Victor and Eloise and ran out of the cellar and ended up, um, we find out how she died, which was being attacked and ran down, <laughs> ran down was the key, uh, ran down um, and eaten by Smiley, the Smiley monster. And so we finally got confirmation and answers on how Miranda died. Because for a long time, it was like, okay, well, she died, but how? Right? Did she die because she wasn't chosen to go through the tree? Did she die from a monster? Did Christopher kill her? Like, what happened? Now we know that the Smiley monster was actually the one that took her out. And it appears that Tabitha is having some type of connection, right? Is it the reincarnation route that a lot of people for, you know, since season one, people have been theorizing that possibility and that potential. Is it just her being chosen, maybe having a link and a connection to uh, Miranda, who is another chosen one, and maybe Miranda's kind of, you know, showing her what actually happened to kind of help Victor, like, hey, you know, like, it's not your fault, she ran out, it was, the, you know, kind of trying to comfort Victor further, right? There's, there's still a lot of possibilities. However, I do think it's going to be the, more likely than not, the reincarnated route that she is a version of Miranda. It, it's kind of how they've seemed to build this up, that either Tabitha was going to end up being Eloise, or she was going to be, uh, you know, a reincarnated version of Miranda. Those were like kind of the two that they keep hinting and poking at, which are the two kind of theories that I've talked about the most because we keep getting little details sprinkled throughout these seasons that like there is that connection. there. So I do think it's probably going to be a reincarnated route. And we have other characters that are kind of the, the modern interpretation of those past characters, Jade with Christopher. I mean, Jade literally saw Christopher and Jasper in, uh, you know, when he was setting up that bottle tree, right? So there's clearly a connection there. There's clearly some tie in there. And Jade's seen Jasper before, right? So like there's been a connection to Jasper and uh, Christopher for some time. And something I've even talked about, right? Like when we were trying to find out, you know, how does Jasper talk? I was like, hey, you know, Jade, Christopher taught, was able to talk to uh, Jasper. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe Jade. Now we found out that the boy in white was the one that actually relayed the, the information to Christopher. But um, I still think that Jade has that tie-in and connection. So just for a moment, right, for this video's sake, let's say that they are reincarnated versions of past characters. Right? Let's say Tabitha really is the reincarnated version of Miranda. And let's say Jade is really the reincarnated version of um Christopher, right? Okay. Well, what about the rest of the characters in the town? Is the reincarnation part of it just limited to maybe key important characters, right? Like, you know, you have the chosen one and, and Miranda and Jade, like maybe you have several chosen, right? So maybe there's, you know, like a handful, like maybe there was a version of Boyd prior and, you know, you have Jade and then Tabitha and then, you know, maybe it's uh, uh, Julie, right, is a reincarnated version of somebody, right? Like, maybe there is this, you know, the re maybe Julie is the reincarnated version of Eloise type thing, right? Like, maybe there is this type of connection. But, like, you look at, if you go down the list, right? Okay, so Tabitha is, is um, Miranda. Jade is Christopher. Well, 
Ethan can't be Victor because Victor's still alive. Unless that's the thing that kind of threw everything through a loop and caused the change. Because as soon as Ethan and them started to pop up, all of a sudden you saw things start to change here, right? So could that be what it is that maybe Victor kind of threw a, a wrench in it all by not dying and he was supposed to die? And so, you know, like, because not everybody can be a reincarnated version of somebody else. So, okay, what is it? Is it a bloodline thing, right? Is is it something where... um. You know, maybe it's, you know, yeah, you have the reincarnated versions, but it's it's traced or traced through a bloodline, right? So, you know, Boyd is through blood, but Ellis is Boyd's son, so he's through the bloodline also, right? And that could explain, like, Fatima and Christy and Marielle and these other characters, right? Like, they're not reincarnated versions of the past. It's more of a bloodline thing. But certain characters maybe are are reserved for that reincarnation thing. Now, again, it could also... Maybe it's just a bloodline thing, period. Right? Maybe Tabitha is related to Miranda somehow. And Jade is related to Christopher. Jade said he doesn't know who his father is. He has no idea who his dad is. Right? Like, what if his dad was Christopher? Or what if his dad, you know, was like Christopher's grandfather or something? Right, like, there's a lot of different ways that this could kind of take place and unfold for them. But you have, like, so many of these characters. Obviously, you have the throwaway characters, stuff like that, but there's still got to be a reason why they're connected there. And a lot of these characters have had connections and visions and dreams and things like that long before they ever even went to Fromville. Right? Long before they ever ended up having some type of... And you constantly are seeing these new influx of characters. Is it really just random? Probably not, right? Like, everything in Frumville is so specific, right? Everything is, is you know, in order, right? There aren't any of these, like, random... Very, that's why it's so strange, right? Like, like, even, like, the boy in white even talked about, like, everything's changing, right? Like, Victor has made it such a big point. Everything's changing. Never used snow here. Trees are moving. Like, all this stuff is changing, right? Like... Is that because something threw a wrench in it all? Or is, is it just like... Because again, it's just... Everything is so precise. I mean, even Randall, when he's talking to Boyd about the monsters. He's like, dude, something's not right. Because the monsters do the same thing every single night. Like, clock, you could set your watch to it. That the monsters, you know, go to the same spots, the same location, same place. Right? Like... This place has, like, nothing is by accident. Everything is very deliberate. Everything has a system in place. Everything has something that needs to to un, unravel, right? Like, and yet you have all these characters that don't really have any real correlate. Like, okay, is Kenny reincarnated version of somebody? Or again, is it a bloodline thing? Is Christy a reincarnated version of somebody? Or is it a bloodline thing? Right, like is Marielle is is, you know, um, was T in right? It was all like, I think a bloodline is probably the the best. Like, right, you could trace a, a bloodline to like the pilgrimage or whatever, right? Like, whenever this place got established, I mean, you the, you see the the dates on the wall date back all the way to like the 1500s, right? So maybe that's when this place got established, and all the people in this town are you know descendants. They're all bloodline traced to, um, you know, the past. And that's how you have this. And, you know, maybe the reincarnation is just limited to specific characters. Maybe the reincarnation is limited to just characters that that have, you know, like a, a an extra connection somehow, some way. Or, again, it could be just a bloodline thing. Again, maybe Miranda has some type of lineage that traces back to, to Tabitha. And there is some connection. There is some kind of tie in there. Um, and it is just kind of this this bloodline trace, right? Because, again, if she really is the reincarnated version, and then Jade is the reincarnated version of Christopher, and so on and so forth, then there's got to be... Ben, that, is that limited to them, or is it to everybody, right? Is it to the entire town? There's got to be some type of rules kind of set in place. There's got to be some type of parameters set in place that kind of make it 
all make sense, right? Which I'm sure will will unravel and unfold as the series goes on. But just again, just kind of things that you know pop in my head when I'm watching the show. I'm like, okay, well, wait a minute. Like, if that's true the case. Then what about this, right? So, anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass the question on to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree? Do you think like no? It's it's got to be a bloodline thing. Do you think no? It's a reincarnation thing. Um, everyone's reincarnated to to you know past versions of themselves, and it's just this constant cycle, right? Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I love to hear it either way. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.